good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine and you might have learned this lesson how to calculate the amount of depreciation under that straight line method okay and uh, to calculate the rate of depreciation okay if they have asked for the amount and the rate otherwise if they have given the rate we need to calculate the amount of depreciation from the rate okay from the original cost to calculate the original cost what we have to do we have to add the purchase price and the installation charges freight charges erection charges or loading and unloading charges whatever related to that particular asset okay until it is made ready to use okay so that we we will uh, we have completed around five problems now we will read the sixth problem you take that depreciation accounts lesson and return to the exercise 6 okay keep ready and i will read out the problem an asset is purchased on 1 1 2016 for 50000 depreciation is to be provided annually according to straight line method useful life of the asset is 10 years and its residual value 10000 accounts are closed on 31st december every year you are required to find out the rate of depreciation and give journal entries for first 2 years so first we need to calculate the amount of depreciation isn't it so here they have given the purchase price then erection charges right sorry purchase price only is it then useful life residual value so we have to use the formula to calculate the amount of depreciation yesterday we have learned that formula is in detail equal to original cost of the asset original cost minus residual value all or scrap value divided by the estimated useful life of the asset here original cost is given as 50000 isn't it residual value 10000 divided by useful life of the asset 10 years so 50 minus 10 40000 divided by 10 so 4000 okay now rate rate of depreciation is equal to origin original sorry amount of depreciation you write fully okay not short, no short form then original cost into 100 so what is amount of depreciation 4000 isn't it so equal to 4000 divided by what is the original cost 50000 into 100 then 15 here 8 by 40 so 8 right percentage 8 percentage now what is the question you are asked you are required to find out the rate of depreciation and give journal entries for first 2 years so we have to prepare the journal entries okay first date particulars uh, ledger folio isn't it lf debit credit so date when they are purchasing year 2016 january one small column one we have to write isn't it so when we purchase an asset what is the entry asset account debtor to 
bank account or cash account okay to bank asset purchased okay how much 50000 okay then you see we are purchasing on january 1 when the accounts close 31st december so for this year december 31st we have to calculate a depreciation here the depreciation is a loss so we need to debit okay depreciation account debtor and if we calculate depreciation the value of the asset will get to decrease so we need to credit the asset account to asset account you have to write depreciation provided depreciation provided okay what is the depreciation amount of depreciation we have calculated 4000 okay all the years the same 4000 only will come okay all the useful life of the asset 10 years then on the same day we need to transfer this depreciation to the profit and loss account okay so the same year same date so depreciation should be transferred so it should be debited since it is a loss we need to debit the profit and loss account profit and loss account debtor to depreciation account okay depreciation transfer to profit and loss account okay the 4000 now first year over isn't it next for the second year you see first asset you have purchased you can no need to write so at the end of next year so you write 2017 december 31 then this year with this entry we need to write okay depreciation account debtor to asset account okay then depreciation provided same amount 4000 okay then the same we need to transfer isn't it the same day. profit and loss account debtor to depreciation account okay depreciation transfer to profit and loss account amount 4000 so general entries for 2 years okay now over first year second year okay this much is this problem then next problem i will read out okay from the following particulars give journal entries give journal entries for 2 years and prepare machinery account under straight line method of providing depreciation machinery was purchased on 1st january 2016 price of the machine 36000 you look into your book okay then freight charges 2500 installation charges 1500 life of the machine 5 years okay so uh, to calculate the amount of depreciation we need to apply that formula okay then what is the question give journal entries for 2 years and prepare machinery account okay we have to post this one machinery account means your asset account okay asset account to bank account then this year by depreciation account we need to calculate the balance again next year by depreciation 4000 again balance and keep the balance as it is that is called that account okay asset account or machinery account now we will do that problem 7 so this 
so percentage is not given so we need to calculate the amount of depreciation using the formula okay original cost minus residual value divided by useful life of the asset you write fully okay so here what is the original cost of the asset here 36000 plus price charges 2500 plus 1500 installation charges any residual value given no okay so no then divided by useful life of the asset 5 years so calculate here if we add 4000 plus 36 40 40000 divided by 5 8000 okay now we have calculated the amount of depreciation now prepare the journal entries okay here journal entries are asked yes give journal entries in short only i am going to write okay first one date when we are purchasing so 2016 january 1 machinery account debtor okay to bank or cash okay bank okay machinery purchased how much amount here 40000 okay and all installation charges freight charges we need to add then when the accounts close not given anything two years so 2016 and 17 so we have to calculate december 31 depreciation account data to machinery account okay then depreciation provided okay uh, 8000 okay then the same date we need to transfer this one to Profit and loss account. You write fully profit and loss account. Okay. To depreciation. Okay. Depreciation transferred to profit and loss account. Same 8000. Then next year, okay, 2017, December 31, depreciation account data to machinery account, okay, 8000, very easy, you have to learn these entries, that's all, okay, then depreciation provided, okay, then again 31, profit and loss account data to depreciation account, then depreciation transferred to p and l account okay 8000 now what is the question they have asked prepare machinery account okay so the third step we need to prepare the machinery account see the machinery account how to prepare take two pages okay take two pages okay this is the right side, creditor, here, debtor, then particulars, everything you write, okay. Here, uh, rupees, here, rupees. Here, date also we need to write, isn't it? We need to post. So, we have purchased that one on 1-1-2016. So, 2016, January 1. Machinery account data to bank. How much? 40,000. Isn't it? Then, same year ended December 31. Depreciation account to machinery. So, machinery is credited. So, we need to write by depreciation. Amount 8,000. Now, we need to calculate the balance. Okay. You need to balance the account by balance carry down. 40, sorry, 32,000. 
फोर्टी थाउजेंड देन वी नीड टू ब्रिंग दिस वन द नेक्स्ट ईयर नेक्स्ट डेट टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन जनवरी वन टू बैलेंस ब्राउड डाउन थर्टी टू थाउजेंड देन अगेन नेक्स्ट ईयर एंट्री टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन डिसेबर थर्टी वन बै डिप्रिशियशन एउसंड सो यू बैलेंस इट ओके द सेम डेट बै बैलेंस कैरी डाउन ओके हिर् थर्टी टू थाउसंड सेम थिंग यू रईट थर्टी टू थाउसंड then write eight to get it to four twelve balance one to twenty four thousand again in the next date two thousand eighteen January one two balance brought down okay twenty four thousand so only for two years they have asked okay then the eighth problem you read okay a manufacturing company purchased on 1st april 2010 a plant and machinery for 450000 and spent 50000 on its installation after having used it for 3 years it was sold for 385000 depreciation is to be provided every year at the rate of 15% per annum on the fixed installment method Accounts are closed on thirty first March every year. Calculate profit or loss on sale of machinery. Here the question they have asked to calculate profit or loss on sale of machinery. So we have to calculate the profit or loss. No need to prepare general entries. No need to prepare accounts. So statement showing profit or loss on. First, to write the question number. Okay, then statement showing profit or loss on sale of machinery. Okay, statement prepare one amount column. ओके अमाउंट काला मिला पर्टिकुलर्स रुपीस ओके वी हैव परचेस्ड इसेंट इट प्लांट एंड मशीनरी सो प्लांट एंड मशीनरी परचेस्ड हाउ मच फोर लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड देन एड व्हाट Installation charges fifty thousand. So total how much? Fifty five lakh, isn't it? So from this five lakh only we are going to calculate the depreciation. Here date when they have purchased one one four two thousand ten. Okay, accounts close every year, thirty first March. Okay, so when depreciation for the year ended, thirty one March two thousand eleven. Okay, so one year we need to calculate. What is the percentage? Fifteen percentage. What is the total amount? Five lakh, isn't it? So we need to calculate the depreciation. Fifteen percentage one zero two zero calculate cut okay then fifteen into five seventy five seventy five thousand okay seventy five thousand four lakh twenty five thousand we will get the balance isn't it then it is the first year balance for how many years for three years they have used isn't it so second year. Depreciation for thirty one. Ah, on also you can write thirty one three two thousand 
टोल ओके द सेम अमाउंट फिक्सड इंस्टॉलमेंट है ना सो अगेन सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो हाउ मच थ्री लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड देन लेस यू हैव टू राइट ओके लेस डिप्रिसिएशन फॉर थर्टी वन थ्री टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन वेन दे आर सेलिंग दैट वन आफ्टर हैविंग यूज इट फॉर थ्री इयर्स सो वी आर यूजिंग फॉर थ्री इयर्स ओके थर्ड इयर अगेन सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो टू लैक सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज इंड इट Two lakh seventy-five thousand. Now, how much they are selling? Less selling price. Selling price three lakh eighty-five thousand. This is book value. Okay, selling price three lakh eighty-five thousand. So here the selling price is more. Okay, book value only two lakh seventy five thousand. So we are selling for more price. So what it is profit on sale? Profit on sale of machinery. Okay, profit on sale of machinery. From here we need to subtract. Okay, eight minus seven one three minus two. So three one lakh ten thousand is the profit on sale. Understood now? Now the ninth problem. On first April two thousand eight, Sudha and company purchased machinery for rupees sixty four thousand. To install the machinery expenses incurred for was twenty eight thousand. Depreciate machinery ten percent per annum under straight line method. Thirtieth June two thousand ten, the worn out machinery was sold for fifty two thousand. The books are closed on thirty first December every year. Show machinery account. Here they have asked only the machinery account. So directly we can post into the account. Okay. So write the question number. Okay, number nine. Is it machinery account? You use two pages for account. We have to use both the pages. Okay. Machinery. When they are purchasing, one first April, isn't it? So date we have to write two thousand eight, April one, to bank account. How much? Sixty four thousand installation charges. Twenty-eight. So, how much? Ninety-two thousand, isn't it? Okay, sixty-four, eighty-four. Okay, ninety-two. Okay, ninety-two. Then, the year end we need to calculate the depreciation. So, two thousand nine. When the The year ends on wait thirty first December only. The year ends so two thousand eight December thirty one. Okay, by depreciation. By depreciation, how much we need to calculate? Ten percent. Here I will show and for you. Here you see. They have purchased on first April, isn't it? Ninety-two thousand. How many? That the rate how much? Ten by hundred into. For how many months we need to calculate? From April to December, so nine months. Nine by twelve. Okay, simplify. Here three, here four. One two, one two. Then four we can 
divide this one two four sorry eight balance one twelve three then two zero into three isn't it so zero zero three three sir nine here two three sir six isn't it so six thousand nine hundred okay that amount only we need to calculate okay you have to be careful about the rate date okay when we are purchasing and the date of depreciation okay depreciation six thousand nine hundred So this year we are closing. Okay. You have to read that problem correctly. Okay. When they are selling everything. Okay. Now 8 December. No problem. They are selling that one on 30th June 10 only. Okay. So next year 9. So we can calculate. Now we will close this year. 92,000. Here also you write 92,000. Write the here by the same date by balance carry down nine plus one ten balance one seven seven plus five twelve balance one eight so eight eighty five thousand one hundred so the next date we have to write here okay next date two thousand nine January one okay two balance brought down eighty five thousand one hundred okay now then year ends on december thirty first so two thousand nine december thirty one by depreciation here which method we cannot take this six thousand nine hundred okay because uh, this depreciation is calculated on straight line method. Straight line method means we have to calculate on the original cost of the machinery. So, 92,000. Okay, 92,000 into 10 by 100. How much we will get? 9,200. That should be the amount for one year. Okay. So, again we need to calculate can that close the year balance carry down what is the amount 85100 write this amount also here 85100 and find out the balance 2 plus 9 11 balance 1 10 10 plus 5 15 balance 1 7 so 75900 is the second year balance so we need to write the next date is 2010 January 1 okay two balance brought down how much 75,900 now 30th June the worn out machinery was sold so we need to calculate up to June only okay June 30 by depreciation here for how many months? Six months only. Up to June 30 only we, we need to calculate the depreciation. So, 92,000. Here into 6 by 12. Okay, so that means 1 by 2. Half. Okay, 2 divided. 9 divided by 2. 4, 2, sorry, 8. Isn't it? 8, then balance 1, 12, 6. 4,600. Okay. Now, they are selling the machine for 52,000. So, what we are to write? When we sell the machinery, what is the entry? Opposite. Here, purchasing machinery account data to bank. When we sell bank account data to machinery. So, buy bank account. Or by cash also you can write. Okay. 52,000. Okay. 52,000. Again. Here selling for less amount. The book value. Around 60,000. 70,000 isn't it? We need to deduct this depreciation. 
around seventy thousand. We are uh, selling for less price. Okay, the same we are to write by profit and loss account. Okay, write the total. Seventy-five thousand nine hundred. For profit, what is the now entry? You see whether it is profit or loss. Loss because the selling amount is less. Okay, if we selling we sell the asset for more price than the book value, we will get profit. It will be profit and loss account should be credited. Machinery will be debited. But here we are debiting profit and loss account, crediting machinery account. We need to calculate the total amount. Balance amount. Okay, seventy five thousand nine hundred. Here also seventy five thousand nine hundred. We will calculate the loss. Six plus three nine. Then six. Six plus nine fifteen. Balance one six. Six plus one seven. So what is the loss? Nineteen thousand three hundred. Okay. Only machinery account they have asked. Okay. This is the answer. Okay. They may ask this one. Ah. Uh, For five more calls. Then next one. Rahul purchased machinery on April one for two lakh. Then first October fifteen, a new machine costing one lakh twenty thousand was purchased. Thirtieth September sixteen, the machinery purchased on first April. That means the first machinery was sold for one lakh twenty thousand. Books of accounts are closed on thirty first March, and depreciation is to be provided at ten percent per annum on straight line method. Prepare machinery account and depreciation account for the year fourteen fifteen to sixteen seventeen. Okay, here two accounts they have asked us to prepare. Okay, so first we will prepare the machinery account. Before that, you write the. Write the number. Okay, number is ten. Ten. Okay. Machinery count. Machinery account. Date when we are purchasing first April two thousand fourteen. April one we purchase for two lakh, isn't it? Then. First April when the two thousand fourteen any transaction you see, uh, no the books of accounts closed on thirty first March. Okay, thirty first March. So next year isn't it two thousand fifteen March thirty one by depreciation. Okay, we need to calculate ten percentage. Ten percentage means twenty thousand. Another uh, machinery is purchasing which date first October two thousand fifteen. After this date only. So this year we can close. Okay. So thirty one by balance carry down two lakh minus twenty thousand one lakh eighty thousand two lakh. We need to write the balance next date. Okay, so two thousand fifteen, April one. So here two cash or bank. Okay, where anything you can write. Two balance brought down one lakh eighty thousand. Now. The year end when two thousand fifty sixteen. 
March 31. Okay, here before that they are purchasing another machine. When? On 1st October 2015. So, October 15 to cash. They are purchasing another machine for how much? 1,20,000. Here we need to calculate the depreciation for two machineries. Okay, by depreciation. Here two depreciation will come. One for this one. Okay, one lakh eighty thousand. Here the same depreciation only will come, isn't it? So we need to write it together. Not plus how much will come? We will write together there. Okay. So for this one. We are purchasing on 1st October only, 1,20,000 into percentage 10 by 100 for how many months? October, October 15, 1st October, isn't it? 2015, October 1. So, October, November, December, January, February, March. So, how many months? Six months. Okay. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Six. Six thousand. Isn't it? So, here, for the second missionary, six thousand. So, twenty-six thousand. Understood now? So, 26,000 is the depreciation. Now, we can close this year. Okay. By balance, carry down. How much? Here, 3 lakh. Here, 3 lakh. Calculate the balance. 6 plus 4, 10, balance 1, 3, 3 plus 7, 10, balance 1, 2. So, 2 lakh 74,000, isn't it? Now, that one we need to write here, okay? So, next one, 2016, April 1, 2 balance brought down, 2 lakh 74,000. Okay, how many years, up to what year they have asked and depreciation account for the years 2014 15. 14 15 to 16 17. So, this one, okay, 16 coming, 17 we need to finish. So, now 2017, April, sorry, March 31 by depreciation okay April 1 2014 30th September 2016 so here depreciation will be 2 Okay, 2017, so we are going to, they have sold 30th September 2016, the machine purchased, that means the first machine was sold for 1,20,000, okay. Now we need to calculate the amount of the first machine okay what is the book value of the first machine for that one up to 30th september we need to calculate okay the 30th september 2016 2016 september 30 by depreciation how much okay for the first machine That one for one year, how much? 
20,000, isn't it? Depreciation is for one year only, 20,000 into that one for how many months we need to calculate. Okay, April, May, June, July, August, September for six months. Six months means half, isn't it? 10,000. Or we can add and write out the other one also. Okay, depreciation. Now, we need to calculate the profit or loss on the first machine, isn't it? How much is there? First machine, you see balance 180,000, then in a second year 20,000, isn't it? So, how much we will get to second year end? 180,000 minus 20, 160, isn't it? Again, 160 we are calculating 10,000 so 150 isn't it so the book value is 150,000 they are selling for how much 120,000 so less price so 30,000 is the loss so we need to write that same September by Profit and loss account, 30,000. Okay. Now, March 31 by depreciation. Okay. How much we will get for this, the other machine? 120,000. The first year we have calculated 6,000, isn't it? For this year, it will come Fully, 120,000 into 10 by 100, 12,000 we will get for the second machinery. Okay, 12,000. Now depreciation calculated. So we need to balance this account. Okay, 274,000. Two plus two four four five five plus two seven then two two lakh twenty two thousand <coughs> oh, we didn't write one amount isn't it September we sold that one so by bank account Bank account one lakh twenty thousand. How much we are selling for rupees one lakh twenty thousand? So one lakh twenty thousand. So the balance will be one lakh two thousand. Okay, one lakh two thousand thirty one by balance carry down. Okay, then depreciation account you have to prepare. That one you have to write depreciation to depreciation account data to machinery, isn't it? So, account data to machinery. How much? First year 20,000. By next the same year 